All right, this video is to show you how to download your code to your robot on Robot C. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you are using the correct language. So when you go over to Robot in your platform type, you need to make sure that VEX 2.0 Cortex is selected. If you do not see VEX 2.0 Cortex here, you may need to go down to VEX Robotics and click on VEX 2.0 Cortex over here. Once I have my code set, the first thing I'm going to want to do is go ahead and compile my program by clicking this button here. Notice down here said it was compiled at this date at this time. That means that it was successfully compiled and there's no errors. If there are errors down here, you need to fix them and then try compiling again. The second thing you need to do is go ahead and check your firmware download. This is a good thing to do once a class maybe the first time you download your code, you're going to go up and click on firmware download. It'll give you this message. You're going to click OK to update your robot firmware. And it'll take a second to download that new firmware. Now, sometimes this isn't enough. And if you continue to have major issues with your Cortex, you need to do a much more complex firmware download. In order to do that, you can go to Robot, Download Firmware, Manually Update Firmware, Master CPU Firmware, and then you can click on Standard File Cortex located right here. For a majority of users, you will not need to do this. Simply clicking on this button will be enough. Now that I've clicked my firmware download, the last step is to download to Robot. I'm going to click on download to robot. I have my program debug window that has popped up. Notice my battery is low. That's okay because I'm not actually going to run it. If you get that error, you're going to want to switch your battery. Uh, when I'm ready to run it, I'm going to then just hit start and it will run through my code. That is all you need to do in order to download your program to the robot.